Hello, girls and boys. I'm your Peter Pan storyteller. When you hear this sound, you turn the page. Now, let's read the story together. Here we go. Cinderella. This is the story of Cinderella. Cinder Cinderella is a little girl, pretty as a picture with a golden curl. She's so sweet and gentle, you will love her so. In this fairy tale written long ago. My name is Cinderella, and I live in a big house with my stepmother and two stepsisters. I'm the only one who does any work in the house. And all day long, everyone called my name. Cinderella, Cinderella, wash the dishes, scrub the floor, see who's knocking at the door. Where's my dress? Brush my hair. Me, I can't be everywhere. Cinderella, Cinderella. I'm coming. One day, as Cinderella was working, she heard a knock on the door. When she opened the door, a messenger from the king's palace stood before her. Hear ye, hear ye. Be it known that the ladies of this household are cordially invited to attend the grand ball of the king's palace tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. The king's palace. Oh, how I wish I could go. But I don't have any fine clothes to wear. Finally, the night of the ball arrived. Cinderella watched her stepmother and two sisters, dressed in their finest clothes, ride off to the palace. And poor Cinderella went into the house and sat by the fire weeping. <laughs> Suddenly, she heard a voice speaking. Hello, Cinderella. I'm your fairy godmother. Why do you weep? I'm sad because I can't go to the grand ball at the palace. Don't worry, Cinderella. You're a good little girl and you shall go. Fetch me a pumpkin that's big and round. You'll find one in the garden on the ground. Now six white mice that are big and fat. And also find me a big black rat. Now just six lizards, last of all, and you shall go to the palace ball. Dindry dandry dandry do, do all the things I ask of you. The pumpkin turned into a golden coach. The six white mice turned into six beautiful white horses. The rat became a splendid coachman. The six lizards turned into footmen. Then with one sweep of a magic wand, the ragged clothes that Cinderella wore turned into a shimmering golden dress. And when she looked at her feet, she was wearing the most beautiful glass slippers you ever did see. Oh, how beautiful I look. Thank you, fairy godmother. Now I can go to the ball. Yes, Cinderella, go to the ball. But remember this. You must leave by midnight or else your beautiful clothes will turn to rags. Go now, Cinderella. You'll be the queen of the ball. Don't forget to leave before the clock strikes twelve. Cinder Cinderella went to the ball. Cinder Cinderella, loveliest of all. Pretty as a picture in her golden gown. Cindy Cinderella danced round and round. When the prince met Cinderella, he bowed and said, I'd like to dance with you. Cinderella and the prince danced and danced the whole night through. Suddenly, the clock struck 12. Cindy Cinderella ran from the ball when she heard the clock strike in the palace hall. At the stroke of midnight, like the wind, she flew. As she ran away, she lost her little glass shoe. By the time Cinderella had passed through the palace gates, it was one minute after twelve. Oh, my fine clothes have turned to rags, and my footmen are lizards, 
my coachman, a big black rat. Oh, look, my six white horses have turned to mice, and the golden coach is once more a pumpkin. Later that evening, when her mother and stepsisters returned from the ball, one of her sisters said, If you had been at the ball, Cinderella, you would have seen the finest, most beautiful princess in all the world. What was your name? Where did she come from? No one knows her name, but the king's son would give the whole world to know. The next day, the prince issued a proclamation. Hear ye, hear ye, ladies of the kingdom. Be it known that the prince has chosen for his bride the one who fits this tiny glass slipper that was lost at the ball last night. Who can wear the little black shoe? Who can wear the little black shoe? The prince will thank you for his bride if you can fit the shoe. The prince searched and searched throughout the entire kingdom, but the little glass slipper seemed to fit no one. Finally, he came to Cinderella's house. And when Cinderella's stepsisters tried on the slipper, it just wouldn't fit. Oh, it's too small. It hurts my foot. Gosh, my foot's too big. It won't fit me either. Please, Your Highness, may I try the slipper? Why should it fit you? You're just a Cinder girl. When Cinderella tried the slipper, much to everyone's surprise and amazement, it fit as smooth as a glove. Then the prince cried, You shall be my bride and live in the palace forever and ever. And everyone started to sing. Cinderella fits the shoe. Cinderella, is this you? Everyone is so surprised. It's you, it's you, it's you. Cindy fits the little glass shoe. Cindy fits the little glass shoe. She's to be the prince's bride. Not you, not you, not you. Cause Cindy fits the And so the prince took Cinderella in his golden carriage, and they rode off to the palace, where they lived happily ever after.